Welcome to Chapter 3 of our story, where the festival in the town square is at its peak. The air is filled with laughter and music, and the sweet scent of spiced cider drifts through the crowd. Snowflakes dance in the air, adding to the magic of the night. A grand tree stands tall, adorned with shimmering lights, casting a warm glow over the festivities. But beneath the surface of this joyous celebration, a tension simmers, thick as the winter fog rolling in from the hills. Join us as we delve into the heart of this enchanting yet mysterious night. Alara stood at the heart of the festival, her breath visible in the crisp air, mingling with the swirling snowflakes that danced like spirits around her. Her heart raced as she exchanged glances with Finn, whose deep blue eyes reflected a mixture of determination and fear. They had come to understand that the malevolent spirit, a swirling mass of darkness with ember-like eyes, was not merely a figment of their imagination but a harbinger of the town's unresolved grief. Mabel, with her silver hair and wise demeanor, stood beside them, her presence a comforting anchor amidst the chaos. We must confront it, Elara, Mabel urged, her voice steady yet laced with urgency. The spirit seeks recognition, a voice for its pain. We cannot let it tear our community apart. Elara nodded, her resolve hardening. She felt the weight of her grandmother's memory pressing against her heart, a reminder of the love that had once filled her life. As the trio moved toward the center of the square, the air thickened with anticipation. The townsfolk, caught in the throes of celebration, remained blissfully unaware of the storm brewing just beyond their laughter. Alara raised the snow globe, its surface shimmering with the light of a thousand memories. Spirits of our ancestors, hear us! she called, her voice ringing clear against the backdrop of the festival. We honor you. We remember you. In that moment, the world seemed to hold its breath. The snow globe glowed brighter, illuminating the faces of the children gathered around, their eyes wide with wonder. Finn, standing resolutely beside Alara, felt a shift within himself, a burgeoning belief that perhaps there was more to this world than mere logic could explain. Together, they would confront the spirit, not as adversaries, but as bearers of understanding and compassion. The shadows deepened, swirling around them like a tempest, but Alara stood firm, her heart a beacon of light. The spirit's anguished wails echoed through the square, a haunting melody that resonated with the pain of the past. We see you, Alara shouted, her voice rising above the cacophony. We acknowledge your sorrow. As the words left her lips, the air crackled with energy, and the spirit's form began to shift, revealing glimpses of its tragic history. A child lost, a family torn apart, a town that had forgotten. Alara's heart ached for the spirit, for the pain it carried, and she understood then that healing could only come through recognition and remembrance. The festival, once a celebration of joy, now transformed into a sacred space for healing a bridge between the living and the dead. 